Climate graphs are a combination of a bar and a line graph. Rainfall is shown by a bar graph, with the figures being shown on the left-hand axes. And temperature is shown as a line graph, with the figures being shown on the right-hand axes. This video is a quick guide on how to construct your very own climate graphs. Before we start, we need to check that we've got the right equipment. So the first things we're going to need are a pencil and a ruler. These two items are the most important, but what you'll also need are a blue colouring pencil or felt pen, and a red pen also. When drawing a climate graph, your starting point will be when you are given the average rainfall and temperature statistics for a place throughout the year. As you can see, you are given the average rainfall and temperature statistics for every month of the year in a specific place. The statistics that we have above show the climate of the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. Using these statistics, we now need to think about plotting these onto our graph. To do this, we need to draw a graph with three axes. One x-axis for the months of the year. A y-axis for plotting the rainfall in millimetres. And another y-axis on the right-hand side for plotting the temperature in degrees centigrade. It's vitally important that you remember to label your axes, otherwise we're not going to know what they show you. Therefore, I've made sure I've labelled my left-hand y-axis rainfall in millimetres, the right-hand y-axis with temperature in degrees centigrade, and the x-axis with months of the year. The next thing is then choose an appropriate scale for your y-axis, so that you're able to fit all of your data onto the same graph. When adding your scale to the y-axis, it is very important that the scale is equally spaced and goes up by the same amount each time. Along the left-hand y-axis, we need to add a scale for the rainfall. The highest average rainfall in any given month in the Amazon rainforest, according to our data, is 245 millimetres in March. Therefore, the highest our scale needs to go to is 245 millimetres. However, to leave some extra space, I have taken it up to 300 millimetres. Along the right-hand y-axis, you then need to add a scale for the temperature. The highest average temperature is 29 degrees in August. Therefore, I have made sure that I have a scale which goes high enough to plot this data. So next, we can start adding our data to our graph. We started off by plotting the rainfall figures onto our graph for January, February and March. It's really, really important that we remember when plotting rainfall, rainfall is our bar graph. It's also important to remember to use the rainfall axes on the left hand side. We then need to plot the rainfall bars for all of the months of the year. Once we have plotted all of the bars, we are then able to shade all these bars, importantly in blue. No other colours, just blue. With all of our rainfall data all plotted, we can then start to think about plotting the temperature figures also. To plot the temperature figures, we always use a line graph. When plotting the temperature in our line graph, we always make sure that any points that we mark on are in the middle of each month. We don't plot them at the beginning or the end of the month, because this could cause some confusion. It is important to remember that when plotting the temperature, we're using the temperature axes along the right-hand side, rather than the left-hand axes, which has the rainfall scale. You can then continue to plot all of the temperatures across the whole year, and then join up all of the points of your line graph using a red pen or pencil. This then leaves us only one last thing to do, and that's to add a title for our climate graph. As this graph is shown as the climate within the Amazon rainforest, I've gone with a title, a graph to show climate in the Amazon rainforest. 